Hey yo, what's dripping YouTube? If you're looking for another long range weapon you can use aside of rocking out with the RPK, then I highly recommend you rock out with the HCR 56 because this weapon do not have any recoil and also it has a really good fire rate as well compared to the other LMG. Now y'all be sure to stick around because we will be going over the best class setup, also the best weapon tuning for the HCR 56. But I won't hold y'all no longer. Let's dive in. First off, let's start off with the best scenario for you to rock out with this HCR 56. And let's start off with that close or that short range. Now, ideally, you do not want to use this HCR 56 in that short range battle because it is a LMG. Now, here we are talking about that medium range where this HCR 56 is good at. It can really dominate. And like I say, this LMG has a really good fire rate on it. So make sure you really, really dominate in that mid-range battle. Now let's talk about the long range battle where I will say that HCR 56 is really good at because you do get that no recoil and also that good fire rate for you to dominate and beam your enemies at that long range battle and any would not know or how fast or what weapon you are even using because this gun is going to put you down quickly because of that fire rate. So now here we are going to be talking about the best attachments and also weapon tuning for this HCR 56. So starting off, we're talking about the second Tread 40. With this right here, for the pros, it do help you out with that vertical recoil control and also that horizontal recoil control. Now having this attachment will help you dominate uh, controlling your recoil because this gun do have a kick to it, but this will help you out to stay on target. That way your gun do not be kicking around everywhere. Now the con to this is you do have that aim down sight speed and also the aim of stability. Also, I would highly recommend if you do not want to rock out with this second tread 40, is to use the silencer called the Hardbinger D20. That way you do get that damage range, that sound suppression, to kind of keep you off that mini map as well. So, so you choose the best preference that suits your play style. And here we are in the muzzle tuning. And as you see, I do have it at a negative 0.21, going towards that aim down sight speed, since that was one of our cons, and we get a little bit of help on that as well. And also, if you look down, I do have it at a plus 0.12 going towards that gun kick control. But like I mentioned before, this gun do have a kick going upwards. And if you go ahead and tune this going towards the gun kick control, and this will definitely help you out. Now, here we are. My next attachment, the underbearer, the commando foregrip. And the pro to this is you get the aiming idle stability and also that recoil stabilization. And what you're going to get out of this is when you aim down sight, your optic would not be or the lens. It would not be moving around all crazy, not as much as opposed to other optics. And also with that recoil stabilization, like I say, this gun will not have any recoil. And it's going to help you stay stabilized when you're shooting your targets, especially in that high fire rate as well. And the con to this is, is that aim down sight speed. That's the only con you're getting from rocking out with this underbarrel. Now here we are in the underbarrel tuning, and I do have it going toward the recoil stabilization at a plus 0.44, so I can have more recoil when I'm shooting at a faster fire rate. And also, I do have it at a 0 0.09 for the aiming idle stability. I wanna make sure that this gun is not moving when I'm shooting, especially when I'm shooting this gun in a high fire rate against my opponents. Now here we are talking about the ammunition. This is my next attachment that I rocked out with so I can make sure I get that good fire rate, that good bullet velocity, and that's rocking out with the 5.56 high velocity ammunition. And what you do get from this is, the pro is, is that bullet velocity. That means your bullets get to travel more fastly, more quickly to hit your opponents and dominate them like you're supposed to. Then the only con you get from this is, is that damage range which is why I also had recommend earlier that you rock out with the Hardbinger D20 if you don't want to rock out with that second tread 40. Now, here we are in the ammunition tuning. And as y'all see, I do have it all the way down to the recoil's movement at a negative 0.70 to better help me with that recoil control. And also, I do have it all the way going toward the bullet velocity at a plus nine, because I, I want to make sure that I'm getting all the bullet velocity, that fire rate. I want to make sure I'm able to dominate my opponent when he's on the opposite end of that barrel. Now, here we are. The next attachment for my optic, I am rocking out with the Corio RE-X Pro. And the pro you get from this thing is that precision sight picture. But of course, the con is that aim down sight speed. And when you rock out with this optic, get that real clear vision for you to dominate your opponent, even at that medium and at that long range as well. Now here we are in the optic tuning, and I do have it at a negative 
74 going toward that aim down sight speed this is what we make up at for um, other attachments that do hurt our aim down sight speed we're making it up right here in the optic tuning and also and in my opposition I, again i did leave it at a zero but feel free to move it towards your far location if that better suits you now here we are for my last attachment for my real grip i did rock out with the stiff 40 grip and it do help out with that recoil control and of course the con is the aim of stability but this right here gonna make sure that your gun do not move when you're shooting it especially when you're getting in that high fire rate battle with somebody at that medium and also with that long range as well and here we are in our real grip tuning and i do have it at a negative 0.32 going towards that aim down sight speed again we're making up that aim down sight speed from previous attachment that we put on this lmg and also you look down below i do have it at a plus point 45 going towards the aiming idle stability to make sure when I'm aiming, this gun don't move. I get a clear picture and the gun is not going everywhere. Also with the optic, it's not giving me that visual look that is going everywhere as well. All right, if you all enjoyed today's content of me giving y'all a breakdown, a full breakdown of how you should rock out with the ACR 56, it'd be greatly appreciated Get that like button. It helped me out in the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you're new to the channel and you want to make your way back around for more future uploads compared to any kind of war zone tips and tricks and also Modern Warfare 2, then it'll be greatly appreciated. Hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell icon, and also prioritize it as all so you won't miss no future uploads. And also, leave a comment down below on what was your best part of the video so I can know how to keep these videos coming for you all to be the best player you can be in Warzone 2.0. And if any of you are looking for any underrated AR that you should be rocking out with right now in Warzone 2.0, then I would highly recommend watching this video of me showing and giving y'all a breakdown of rocking out with the cast off 545. You will not be disappointed. And remember to be you, be creative, and be positive. You dig?